Well, good morning. I am here at the wharf this morning, and I have a couple thoughts top of mind like I always do. Um, some of you may have, I might have shown you um, in a quick like bleep. Um, I had done some painting, and I had been asking some of my friends uh, what their favorite scripture was, and was trying to create something for each one of them. So one of them had a scripture that I've been I've been meditating actually on all the ones that they gave me, but this one's Philippians four a. It it is a kind of a popular I would say um, scripture, but this is what I did for them, and it's talking about thinking and how we think, what to think on, and it says to think on things that are true. Think on things that are noble. Think on things that are right. Think on things that are pure. Think on things that are lovely. Think on things that are amiable. Amiable. Um, another word for amiable is like kind of like friendly. So kind. Excellent. Praiseworthy. So those are like those are like some guidelines and some framework for our thoughts. Though, and it says, think on these things. If we think on these things, then our life will be filled with good fruit. The people around us will be blessed. Our future will be blessed. Our children will be blessed. Everything we put our hand to will be blessed. And that's what we all want for each other. And that's what we want for ourselves. So um, it's a guideline, it's a road post, it's a stop sign or a, a, a direction sign to lead us in a path that leads to life. So think on these things. While I was thinking on these things, I was thinking about how we can think about how our thoughts can go down different tracks. Like we're just going down the freeway. And have you ever been in a town where all of a sudden the freeway signs and you're like just traveling through and you're looking for an exit that you're not familiar with? And all of a sudden, you're like, it's all quiet, just a couple little turnoffs. And then there's like four signs across the top. There's two going to the right, one in the middle. If you don't get the one, then the right lane only goes right. The one, the second um, to the right lane turns off, but you can also go forward. And then the one on the right only goes to the right. And you're like trying to navigate this. This is before back in the GPS days, okay? Um, you're trying to navigate this to figure out which lane you're supposed to be in and where you need to go. And um, sometimes our thoughts can be like a highway like that, that we come across these intersections. We're thinking one thought, one thought connects to another thought, which connects to another thought. While you're having that thought, another thought, and you can end up, that's why we call them bunny trails, because we're jumping all over and one thing leads to another. And we can be way off down the road on our thoughts compared to like where we were focusing or what we were doing. And our thought life is important. Paying attention to what's rolling around in our heads. Redirecting what's in our heads when it's veering or when it's going someplace that isn't productive or positive. Um, my brother calls it like different types of fuel. He's like, you want to burn toxins? You want to burn clean fuel? I want to burn clean fuel. I want my thoughts to be pure. Think on those things that are pure. So um, pure can be like no toxins, right? So like no envy or strife or contentions, no um, complaining and um, backbiting or cussing and right. We want it to spring. What's inside of our hearts should spring out of our mouths and out of our minds. So what we think is really important because that's what we'll do. Our thoughts will lead the rest of us, our body and our and our um, mouth. Our eyes, everything else that we do. So we want to train our thoughts. So the other thing I was thinking about was um, glasses. So like sometimes you can be like, it's like looking through glasses, right? You're like, okay, these are their happy glasses. That means their hearts are filled with happiness. They're filled with good things, right? They're looking through life and their disposition is happy. That's because their thoughts are happy. You can't have happy thoughts and then be ugly and be mean. That, it just doesn't work. So we might have different glasses that we put on through all the day. And it, we have to be careful. Like, what are we doing? Are we being silly? Are we being funny? There's another one. See? 
So these ones. So you want to remember what you're doing and be kind and um, wear glasses that are clear, that you could see through and people could see through you, through the doors of your soul, into your heart and to see the beauty that's there because you've been thinking properly. Well, that's it for now. Think on these things, my friend. Till I see you again, have a great and glorious, love-filled and victorious day.